there's an unseen energy that can be felt in original art. So much of the art we see in today's world is mass produced, but machines can't make everything that humans can. There is a life force that flows through original handmade art. Hi, I'm Brooke Harker. I'm an artist based in Los Angeles. I paint one-of-a-kind originals, cityscapes, and coastal scenes. Basically, I make portals on canvas that depict locations around the world. These paintings bring a lot of energy and color into living spaces. They brighten the environment of a room and help lift the moods of the people who enter that space. People get to look at the art and dream of places they want to go, or remember where they've been, or how they felt in places meaningful to them. Every original impacts the people looking at it, consciously or unconsciously, because we all have the ability to perceive energy through our senses, and art emits the energetic signature of the person who created it. So the question becomes, what energy do you want to experience in your life? What energy do you want on your walls and for your environment as a whole to reflect? What energy do you want your children to feel and see around them daily? There are so many amazing artists in the world. I'm a huge art lover and I love to meet other artists and I also collect art myself. And one thing that's been really cool for me is I haven't seen any artists painting in the exact way that I am in the scale and combination of mediums that I use. I'm an ambidextrous painter, so usually the ink strokes are made with my left hand and the thick oil paint is made with a palette knife with my right hand. I'm also a very social artist, so while many artists prefer to work alone in a studio, I choose to paint outdoors in my neighborhood and chat with strangers and neighbors throughout the day. I also go on location to take references or for commissions or a sketch, and people often stop to talk to me while I paint. Meeting new people and hearing about their lives is a perk for me because what inspired these paintings in the first place, a love of travel, was always rooted in a deep love of people and other cultures. Hearing different perspectives and sharing stories helps create compassion. And that's something I value deeply and intend for my work to contribute to. Our personal and professional spaces are a reflection of how we see ourselves and what we value. Art is so often considered a luxury, but when a person buys art, it isn't just about whether they value the art or not. It's about whether they value themselves. You are the only person in the whole world who is you. And when you really have reverence for that, it becomes easier to be willing to invest in things that help you feel good about yourself. If a piece of original art lifts your state of mind in an instant, then that art is an investment in your well-being. And that filters into every area of your life, your work, your health, your relationships. For me, making art isn't just about self-expression. It's a teaching tool for life. We all have a choice in every moment what we choose to focus on. I'm an advocate for people creating and choosing art that resonates with them. The point is to find art that ignites you because every time you elevate your state of being, that vibration ripples out to the people around you and into the world. And that's how we make the world a better place for everyone. Owning original art is about way more than having a physical object on your wall to fill a space. It's about activating the life you want to create and being part of something much bigger than yourself.